I made three types of paper this weekend, and in this video I'm going to share with you how I made the Echo Dye paper. It's going to be a quick, fast video. The other two papers will be linked at the end of the video as well, so if you want to see how I made the shaving cream marble paper or the handcrafted paper, that those links will be at the end of this. My name is Peg. I call my channel to Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and hit that subscribe button and join me. I try to create quick, easy, concise videos, and that notification bell will let you know when additional content is uploaded. So for this particular process, we're going to use alum. You can purchase it in the grocery store right in the spice section, and it is generally used for canning. One third cup is what I use, and you can see I'm pouring that into the one third cup, and it's it's basically one of those small little jars. It produces just slightly under one third cup. Mixing it with boiling water, and utilizing a paintbrush to coat my paper with this solution. So I'm going to coat the paper first, just with a getting it completely wet or immersed with that alum and hot water solution and then I'll lie my flowers and plants on top of that paper. These are little violets that come up free range in my garden every spring. There's not much growing right now but I'm going to use what I have and I also am using some lamb's ears, some clover, some pine, um, the little pink flowers are just a little weed that grows. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but we'll take it. And just laying it down in an arrangement that, that pleases me. Just dropping the, the color. Now, the alum helps that color leak or bleach or emerge into the paper. So that's what the, the alum is for. It pulls the color out of your your greenery. So now that we have everything laying on that sheet of paper, we'll coat a second sheet, put it down, and coat the back of it, and we'll just start the sandwich process. And we're going to sandwich all of the plants that we have with all of the paper, and we'll continue until we either run out of paper or run out of plants. Now, when we finish getting the sandwich made, we will tie this all together. And I want to talk just a little bit about what that roasting pan is for. We're going to boil everything in that roasting pan you see there in the top left of the screen. We will put the remainder of our alum solution in there and then fill it with hot, with, with water. So just to kind of clarify that up front. And now that we are getting to the end of our paper, we'll finish off with it one last little little sheet. And you can see it's windy outside today. I'm doing this on my deck. And we'll lay that final sheet of paper down, and then we will start to tie our sandwich together. Now you need two solid things. I use two sheets of aluminum, as you can see, and I tie those together with baling twine. You can use pieces of, of wood. You can use two cutting boards, whatever you have that works, and kitchen string, any type of, any type of string, tape, whatever, whatever you want to use to, to get that maybe duct tape around it. I'm not sure that would, uh, it, it has to withstand the water. So we'll put this all in this roasting pan and we'll take it to the outside burner. You can see I poured that alum in there, filled it up with water, weighted it down with landscape bricks, and we will boil it for two hours. Watch your water so your water doesn't dissipate. And once that has boiled for two hours, let it cool. And then when you pull your paper out, you get results like this. So this is how the plants have leached into that paper. This is just basic cardstock. So you're boiling 
boiling paper essentially for two hours, allowing it to cool, pulling it apart, and your results are as you can see here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it gives you a, enough direction to do it. I will link a secondary video that I did for this. I have also linked the marbled paper with shaving cream and the handmade paper right here. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe and join me for future videos. Bye for now.